I was a chance finalist, you know, I'd be going to the event thinking, what do the coaches want to see from me? They know from day one, we have got professional standards. So I'm looking at them, the same set of eyes, and working in the Premier League with, with professionals. Physicality underpins everything, and it's probably the thing we can affect the most. They can improve their fitness, they can go out on their own, do some endurance work or go to the gym, do some explosive work to prepare themselves physically for the duration of the trial because it's be physically demanding. The chance finalists now have got three months to get themselves prepared. It's not just down to your football ability, it's down to your determination, desire and will to succeed. You've got to have the desire to sweat, blood, tears, to do whatever it takes to be strong enough and fit enough to play it at the highest level you can. When you get tired, your quality will deteriorate. So I'm trying to stress them physically to then put them under more pressure in the technical aspects on the field. When John's pushing us to, to do the last five press-ups and there's nothing left in the tank, you just sort of think about being a pro footballer. If I don't do the last five press-ups, I'm never going to make it. If I do this extra sit-up, if I do this extra shuffle, come the game, because I've done the extra work, I'm able to make that run and get back into place as a right-back. The down to the final 100 now is going to be harder because the quality is obviously going to be a lot higher, but you won't have to do anything other than play good football to be spotted. We're looking for good footballers that have got the bags of potential to go and become professionals. And they need to show that in their character, in their enthusiasm, in their behaviour and all the other things that make up a footballer.